What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new here then thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I know there's plenty of other reactions on YouTube that you could be viewing so it really does mean a lot that you've chose mine. If you are a returning viewer then thank you so much for your continuous support, it really does mean a lot. Um, we do have five other videos uploaded already on the channel because this is episode 6 of season 2 that we're reacting to. So if you've missed those then go back and watch them and come back to this one uh, so you don't miss any spoilers. Uh, just to quick recap on the last episode, we had um, who do we have? We had Luther. He announced to his dad in this current timeline that he wasn't his father and that um, he come from the future back, and his dad disregarded it. So that's interesting. We've got um, Alison. She said that she was going to reveal all to her husband at the end of the last episode, and we also had the handler revealing to five that the English girl and herself um, are in this current timeline and. I'm interested to see what the handler wants to get out of five and what her objectives are and her goals in relation to these storylines because I know she's been demoted at the start of the season. So I wonder if she's trying to get back in the good books with a commission. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the episode. Let's hope there's a lot of action. Oh yeah, and one of the Swedes died as well, so there's only two left now. So I'm expecting all guns blazing attack on the gang. So yeah, hopefully there's a lot of action, a lot of fighting today. So thanks very much everyone. If you do enjoy it, please hit a like and let's just jump right into it and have some fun. Oh, I'm assuming that I'm assuming that this is like I said we ended last episode with Alison saying that she's going to reveal herself to her husband and where she's come from, and I'm assuming that we're picking up straight where we left off, and this is her story as she's telling him right now. That was crazy, wasn't it? When we first reacted to that one. In the wrong part of town. Hey, girl, we're talking to you. Henna, <laughs> look at him. He looks like a right nerd. Hey, get back here. Hey, mate, Christmas theme's going on. They got the Christmas jumper as well, eh? Jump? Do your thing, bro. All right, now. You're not from around here, are you? No. Oh. You got notes. Well, maybe we can discuss these over dinner. My name is Ray. What's your name? Allison. Taking advantage of my simpleton brother. That was smart. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. She's your daughter. Yes, and she's my hey. only one, so I'd appreciate if you didn't crush her windpipe. Do you know what makes me laugh? Like, the handler and five, they've got this, like, relationship where it's like a love-hate. Kind of like Tom and Jerry, you know, or the road runner, where they, they, he's always trying to catch him, but they actually like each other, and one needs the other person there, you know. Uh, so they got mutual respect, even though they always go on like they, they dislike each other. Under my leadership, the commission would sound more like Jess. Out of this timeline and back to 2019, where you belong. Hey, I told you. Then I say she. I wanted to know what her end goal was, like, because she did get a demotion. She has recently been put in this timeline and she's just been acting normal the whole time just trying to find uh find these people so now it's been revealed that she wants to get back at the commission just like i suspected and she wants to go back on top and she wants to be the person in charge she's a smart person she's a smart cookie she's same as five i do like her she's a good character do you know what the chemistry between them two i think he's like 15 in real life and she's in her 50s and they have some fantastic chemistry they rub perfectly off on each other as well like the casting for those two is so good as well as um lila i just remember in their name then and and diego the casting for them two as a couple as well is perfect they rub off so well something that i'd like to share with all of you Revolutionary to him, like, but his head is absolutely blown, like, uh, because obviously the world that they live in now is absolutely racist. It is so so bad, and to figure out, imagine going back in time and telling people who lived in in that era that uh, there was a black president in Barack Obama. Like, they would not believe you, and if they did, they would absolutely be mind blown because it's. I mean, it's so good how much uh, has progressed in. Uh, since here to present day but it's still it's still a big um, problem in parts of the world and it does need to be addressed but in terms of uh, racism in general it is way way better today even though it still exists than um, than it was back then so it is absolutely mind-blowing to someone like that we've been through this like black black <laughs> look <laughs> in the white house yes. look i told you man and it you have 
powers. The woman on the farm that, mate, come with me now, we have to, we got six days. Mate, unless you can prove it, there's no way that she's going to believe you and just leave her family and come. So, it's the same with him. Like, if someone says, mate, I've got powers, it's like, well, show me then, otherwise, whatever you're just saying is just gibberish and nonsense. Wonder if time you'd absolutely take advantage of this power. Like, I would use her to get to gain stuff with um, all the local politicians. I would try and move up within the uh, the system and you know, try and get some black people, some more rights. You know, instead of having it just like black and white, it would be mixed race, everyone would be equal, and I would be trying to use her powers for the greater good in, um, in this timeline where everyone's getting abused. Alison, that was incredible. Why don't you do this all the time? I'm in it why do you not do it all the time to help the african-american people in this timeline like every time somebody's trying to abuse you or use the white privileged powers you know you just i i heard a room of them and you know and you just get yourself served you know you you help your african-american family and friends like move up in the timeline i would be trying to get into the politicians move up into the white house i would be absolutely abusing my powers if i could make people get under a spell Think of everything that we could accomplish. Hey, see. For the movement. Hey, see. He's just reiterating what I've just said. Get your black ass out of here. Oh, oh that is fucking these. well raised. Coffee. Black. Letting it go to her head now already. Mate, after one second, and she's already like abusing it in a bad way. Tit falling for your mark. It's so cliche. <laughs> You'd kill him if I asked you to. Oh, no chance. You hesitated. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Be not. Did you use it on me? Oh, fucking hell. He always goes right into the jugular. What, what I even know. Boom. Look. Relating to back to last episode. That has got an umbrella at the top of that postcard. They have all got umbrella tattoos. So there's no way that Reginald or their dad or whatever cannot believe that they are from the future in relation to him because they've got factual proof on their bodies before he's even met them that is part of the academy bang that was a good call last episode how come i know everything about you yeah like what so this is again what i said when he was in the diner for him to believe him he could just release a bit of information bang that he has never told anybody but that he would have told him because he was a group uh well there was a couple um in the future so for him to believe him he just released uh some private information that only he would know fucking hell mate that is ruthless honor to die for my country oh mate that is a That's good answer from a soldier oh <laughs> Good. We're all here. We're your children. We're from the future. In 1989, you adopted us all and trained us to fight against the end of the world. We all have special abilities. Special? Call me old-fashioned, but I'm a stickler for a pesky little thing called Everton. <laughs> oh! I was going to say, when I was about to put my hand up before they go through his, his thing, I was going to say five. All he needs to do is just bounce from one location to another to prove it. <laughs> All right, a quick rundown. Luther, super strength. Klaus can commune with the dead. Allison can rumor anyone to do anything. You? involved in a plot to assassinate the president straight in there diego like he's not even fucking bothered that's all he wants to get to president 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 that's all he's been obsessed with for the first six episodes you and the culottes a word in cognac just a speech i need your help all right you're my last sane option otherwise i gotta make a deal that i really don't want to make start small seconds not decades. Hey, I wonder if, like, as the uh, as the apocalypse is about to happen, that he just jumps back one day or a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes, and then one decision could have a ripple effect on other other decisions and impact it on a bigger scale. That's interesting because if he's only ever tried to jump years, yeah, just jump days, jump seconds, jump hours, you know, see what you can do in a little time. You can, if something's just about to happen, boom. 
go backwards, you know, see if you can alter that and see if you can divert the 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 action that was just about to happen before you leap backwards. It's interesting. So much can change in a matter of seconds. That's what I just said. One could overthrow an empire. Sorry for him, man. Look, I won't let anything happen to you or Harlan. I can protect you. I just need you to trust me. I wonder if she. Oh. <laughs> he's gonna go on some massive rampage, Jim. I reckon he's gonna try and kill them both. Oh, he's dead. Mate, he's been brutally murdered. Olgoth for Olgoth. That's got me down, right? If I was him, right, I'd want to make a better deal than that. I mean, obviously, like, staying alive is, is key. But I'd want to be on the board too. You know what I mean? I would be second in command in this commission. I would want to be right up there with the top dogs in the authority. That's what I would want. Nineteen eighty two. So that letter that she's just give him at the end, it says nineteen eighty two. Now they're not they're not in that timeline, are they? Like I'm sure that they're not in nineteen eighty two because when they landed they was in nineteen um when from the top of my head here now, when Alison landed, she landed in nineteen sixty one and if that meeting there is gonna be in nineteen eighty two, then he's gonna have to jump forward, you know, like he was just saying to his dad then. In increments, so he, I guess that he's gonna have to go forward, take out the board, and then come back. Um, maybe, um, which is which is interesting. Obviously, the storyline there. Carl has just found out that Vanya and his wife are getting it on, so maybe he's gonna try and go after. Well, just try and kill them both. What is the outcome of that? Um, that's gonna be a good storyline. I'm really, really sad that that guy just being absolutely murdered off the Swedes. Like he. He's been a good character, you know, like a, as a recurring side character, and he's helped him out a lot in this season. So I'm really, I'm actually saddened that he got a brutal death like that. Um, he didn't deserve that. We've got um, Alison. She's finally proven that she can uh, use her powers, and she's used it quite frequently in this uh, in this episode. To be fair, like she doesn't really use them as um, they said. What else? Diego was belittled from his dad again, and nearly started stuttering in his speech impediment. But um, I like the dad in this episode. He gives some wisdom to um, to Five, and he was speaking a lot of sense uh, in terms of the time travelling. Now, instead of going too far and too, too far forward, too far back, take it in small steps. One second can change the world, and it actually can. So just instead of focusing on too much, just focus on what you need to do right now. So with that being said... Uh, I can't wait to jump myself into the next episode and continue on with this series. So thank you very much for checking out my video today. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, uh, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And as always, thanks for clicking on my video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.